Welcome everybody to the live stream lineup review. I am with Bin Hawkins and Dalmont and Raven are attending. So, um, please tell me what is the name of this ship? Uh, this ship is the White Star. Yep, yep. Very nice, very nice name. I'm loving the biodome, by the way. First thing that grabs oh, your thank attention. You. That's future. Yeah. Yeah, just loving the loving that. That's brilliant. And uh, I like the way that you've made the path not straight. <laughs> okay, um, it's kind of yeah. cool. So then we're going to move through. Uh, I'm going to go backwards along the ship. Oh god, I'm sort of taking a bit of a random path here, but that's because you won't get a full interior review. So I'm just trying to get the most no. of it as I can. Oh god, the bloom! Help me! Oh, it's a triple buff <laughs> bloom. I've got quad bloom, you see, for cinematic effects. And oh my god, it's like a whiteout. Help me! I'm so glad yeah. I the name for your next ship as well. I used a little bit too much white. It's called the, the White Star, so I think we have to let him off. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense, right? <laughs> it does, it totally makes sense. So, um, like, tell me where... I'm going to head back to the bridge, and if you could tell me if there is a particular room other than the bridge you'd like me to check out before I move on, so... Tell me. Um, I'm looking at your bridge. The front of the ship... The very, very front of the ship. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, just above the main cannon, there's like this cool little, um, uh, I guess you could call it kind of a, I really don't know what to call it, but it, it's like a crew quarters section that has kind of a cool looking uh, viewport out the very front of the ship that I thought was kind of cool. So that we can awesome. check that out. I like it. It's, an open it's almost plan. like a lounge. It's an open floor plan. It's really cool. It's a little bright, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It's when nice. I when I built this thing, the the gamma was not so high, so <laughs> it's partly my fault. I have got a modified client, so you know, there you go. Yeah, it's so that I can do this. That. Where's the sun? <laughs> Hang on, where's the sun <laughs> gone? Oh there we go. It's so I can do this, guys. That's why. Because that I looks cool. I will say that having uh, the lights in the floor as well as the ceiling might not be the best move. Yeah, in that my was opinion. this this build was actually one of my very first builds. It so looks great. I, You've got some really good yeah, attention to it detail. Does have, does like have loads of features some improvement to be done, but I love the cladding on the underside as well. It's not often that you see people use a completely different color for the underside. You know, you've got grey underneath, you know, it's very striking from underneath. Really yeah, sets apart the nice. armor. I yeah. also like the, uh, the use of ice crystals in between to really illustrate uh, the breaks in the armor too. Yeah. Oftentimes a lot of people will just leave that as one solid sheet and think they can get away with it. <laughs> uh, exactly. Detail, yeah. detail is my friend. I love detail. Good man. That's what we like to hear. Get some more pictures of these struts. I'll tell you what, these struts are next level. Oh, yeah, this is really fun of that hangar bit. Serious screenshots. It's like just multiple F6 over here. <laughs> so I got two questions for you, man. Um, you have a bunch of docks in front of your hangar. What's all that about? Docks in front of the hangar? Yeah, they look like little oh, probes. Oh, those are escape pods. Very nice. Or or drop pods, whichever you want to, wh whatever you decide. It's very futuristic with the blue, you know. It's very futuristic, and the engines are really nice. You've got a nice warm. They don't look like they need to be overpowered, if you know what I mean. They look like yeah. they put out enough, even though they're not very big. Oh, and you've got external computers. Oh, that's interesting because it does give an interesting effect from far away. That's clever. Right, well, I uh, can't wait to see this ship more, and I can't wait to see further ships that you bring to us. But this is a really nice, this is really nice. It's better than the last, I swear you brought one to us before. Yeah, and I this little dinky, yeah, this uh, is like 24 hour build that I way, brought in. Yeah, this is like way better than that. So kudos to you, my friend. Loving the turrets, loving the detail. Thanks. Um, it all just works. It fits together very nicely. It's probably one of the cleanest ships that I've seen in a long time, in honesty. Um, Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, very well done, mate. So that was The White Star by Bin Hawkins. 
So uh, thanks very much for that. We're going to move on to the next ship in the review now. So uh, thanks again, and I will see you next time.